Hi everybody, it's Sunday evening and I wanted to get at least a little bit of a vlog on tonight. And actually I was inspired today by uh, a lady who read a piece in, that she had written in church. And she didn't write in church, she read it in church. I don't know where she wrote it, but uh, it's good. And um, it was really a, a great time for her to read this. We uh, culminated our week-long preparation for the garage sale which took place Friday and Saturday. Uh, I didn't get to participate as much as I usually do this year. I had, um, um, you know, t t this year was a little different in what I had going on. So I at least was able to go over for a couple of days for a few hours and I took some sandwiches and made some Neiman Marcus bars. Yum! And uh, so it felt like I helped out some. But it was very successful due to the leadership of two amazing people that have done this the past few years. And believe me, it's a lot of work to get something like this organized. It's huge. It involves a lot of people, a lot of helpers, and a lot of scheduling, and a lot of inspiring people to get it all done. It's furniture and just table after table after table of uh, different items that you're trying to sort through them and get them all together. Um, and presentable and uh, and then just keeping an eye on everything as uh, you have to switch it around and do all this as the sale progresses but the couple again is Linda or Dorinda and Steve Stedman and they're amazing they do a great job I hope they know how much they're appreciated I don't know if, uh, if I said it but if I didn't um, I hope that they are able to hear this or next time I see them I will again tell them how much uh, I admire what they have done <laughs> and uh, how they keep it all together so um, but back to the piece that Kathy Wallace wrote um, she said she was inspired by the look on a man's face his name is Daryl and I believe Daryl joined the church this morning I am not sure if that was him but uh, I chased Kathy out into the parking lot after church this morning and I didn't get a chance to ask her all the details. I just knew I liked the piece and it spoke to me and she was generous enough to um, give it to me uh, right out of her purse and, and uh, tell me that I could use it and tell you all about it. Who knows First United Methodist Church is blessed. There are financial blessings, physical blessings, spiritual blessings. Which one do you consider to be most important? Financial, physical, or spiritual? Can you feel satisfied with your financial blessings or will you want more? How much do I want? What is best for me? What can I get out of this? Being king or queen of our lives often snowballs into impatience or discontent or jealousy. We weren't made to serve ourselves, but those who have willingly, generously, and joyfully done something for this church have been spiritually blessed and their hearts filled with love, peace, and abundance. Doing a good thing like serving each other through help with the garage sale, Lowe's Outreach, many of our missions, Vacation Bible Study, Clean Up Day, Lord's Acre, Being on a Committee, Food Bank Day, or Choir. People who do things for others become empathetic. They feel involved. They can become more caring, thoughtful, and their thoughts, desires, and actions change their spirituality. It's always good to become aware of others and what they might be going through and just pay attention. I know I'm so guilty of just going through the day and in a fog and not really looking to other people to see what might be going on with them or what they might need. That was my aside. Back to Kathy's piece. We receive companionship, kindness, friendship, help, wisdom, counsel, like advice, you can always count on that, fun, almost always food, and knock your socks off, joy. 
Each week, our pastor, Pastor Dan, invites us to speak of moments when we've seen and felt God's hand in our lives through nature, music, art, relationships, good deeds by others, or people, maybe noticing people, and become more aware of them. Or maybe notice that other people have become more aware. Last Saturday at the Maybank Fire, at the Maybank Fireman's Fish Fry, it was a fundraiser and this is Kathy speaking, she was overwhelmed by Daryl's joy. He was greeted by fireman after fireman and friends that he admires. He was enveloped by memories, events, kindness, relationships, and it all shone all over his soul and face. The event was not about a fundraiser. It was about precious community, connecting with each other in God's kingdom on earth. So next time you're fortunate enough to be called to participate, grab your piece of heaven and grow your relationships with others. Be transformed. You'll see Jesus there. Will you be there? Will you be blessed spiritually? If so, get ready for some joy. Isn't that neat? I thought that was really neat. You know, her descriptive words really nail it. And the feeling that you get from getting out of yourself and, and do, helping somebody else uh, transforms you inside. And I'm very guilty of, you know, going through days and weeks of just not paying attention and just getting too much into my own thoughts. And um, it's not a good thing. It's never a good thing just to concentrate on oneself. Um, but one of um, one of my mother's favorite sayings, and I've said this recently, um, is uh, everyone has their cross to bear. In other words, don't look at the outside of people and make assumptions. You don't know what's going on inside. You don't know about anyone else's life for sure. And you don't know how they're handling it or not handling it. So be aware, a smile, a kind thought, just paying attention can make so much difference in someone else's life and in turn makes a difference in your life as well. So Preacher Mary has finished uh, giving her sermon. But, uh, as I said, that piece spoke to me, and I hope maybe it speaks to you. Next uh, time we get together will be another Myrtle Girl story. Um, I, was, uh, I s saw a lot of uh, comments on some uh, the swimming hole, swimming, the, the swimming dam photos of uh, Seymour Dam when we were kids growing up, and this guy, Pink Sandy, um, I wrote about him in the book. Uh, Myrtle Girl Memories, but um, he taught, oh, I don't know how many, he probably taught as many kids to swim as Dr. Murphy, Murphy birthed babies <laughs> when he was a doctor in Myrtle. So both of them very special guys and uh, did a lot for, the, Pink Sandy did so much for the youth. Um, and uh, I'm going to show pictures and talk about that and read the story that I wrote about it. Um, the next time we can get together. So enough for tonight. I've got some other work to do. So God bless you all and um, keep fighting the good fight. Good night. <laughs>